All right, I am I'm delighted to be here with Bill and Faye Byers, uh, Living Water Ministries. Oh my gosh, I am hearing, you've had some pretty amazing things happening in some of your meetings, actually here in the U.S., because typically when we um, hear someone discussing or talking about miracles, they're talking about in Africa or some other country that seems to be more receptive to God moving mightily in meetings. And um, But you're seeing it right here in the U.S. Yeah. All right. Tell me some good stories. Okay. Probably should start with what uh, uh, initiated this with us, uh, in this season anyway. We've seen them for many, many years. But um, on April 7th of this year, 2022, I had a dream. And in this dream, I, I as soon as I went to sleep, I went into this deep dream. And I was singing an old song uh, that uh, a, a lovely lady by the name of Dottie Rambo wrote years ago, oh, yes. Holy Spirit, Thou Art Welcome in This yes. Place. And I, I was singing this song, and I love it. And, uh, and the only way that I can to, uh, relate it to you is that the song propelled me into a service. Now, I don't know if it's a service in the dream or if it actually took me somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. But this I do know that when I came into this service, everyone else, the whole congregation was singing the same song. And uh, they were all in one accord. And they were, wow. the intensity and the glory of the Lord was there. There were no musicians on the platform. There were no one that was leading the service other than the Holy Spirit. And uh, the song got stronger and stronger and stronger in, in this service. And then suddenly spontaneous miracles started happening in the service in my dream. And uh, there were physical healings of all manner that were taking place, cancers that were being healed, people that uh, uh, had uh, blind eyes that were being healed, deaf ears, all, all the classic uh, Bible stories of healing yeah. were happening in this service. And, and then it moved into a, a different dimension of healing where people that had emotional trauma were being healed. They had gone to counselors for years and years and years and years, and they were none the better for it. And the dynamic was very similar to the woman with the issue of blood. She had gone for 12 okay. years and had gone to doctors and they'd taken her money, but nobody healed her yeah. until Jesus crossed her path. And uh, when, when the Lord came forth, then that healing was released. And and so emotional traumas were being healed and people were being set free in their souls. And then there were mental trauma and mental disorders and mental brain damages that had been uh, given up on, totally given uh -huh. up on, that, that were instantaneously healed. These were, these were things that just happened. There were people that, had, uh, that were amputees that the, the members were, they just materialized, they just wow. popped into existence. It wasn't a growing out, it was, it was instant. He, instant healing in this dream. And we continued to sing the song, and I sang the song so strongly that I woke myself up singing the song oh, wow. in my bedroom, and the presence of the Lord was there in the room as I was singing. Mm. And I just began to pray. I began to pray for Faye, and she stirred and woke up and asked me what I was doing, and I told her the dream. And so we prayed into this dream, and, uh, and I felt that it was distinctly that there was a move of the Spirit of God that was coming on the face of the earth of, of healing and a new wave of healing that, uh, that was demonstrative, very strong, and mm -hmm. not just... Oops. We will, they're gonna stop. Stopped it.